OK, let me give you an introduction for my program MIDI to Twingly. At the beginning, I just want to show you we have Twingly lights here, and here is the PC. So on the Twingly controller, the effects are stored as movies, movie 1 to movie N, and from PC we can send a Twingly command, say movie I, a certain movie, then Twingly will play the certain effect. So that's what I have done for in my program LEDJ. When the user press a key on the keyboard, then the Twingly command will send to Twingly lights, then the Twingly lights will play a certain movie. So that's an interactive control by the program. But this time we want to use something we can sing with music, so we create a sequence of keystroke which is sing with the music, then we send it to Twingly Light. For example, an editor, we load a song here, then we create some event here, then we send it to the Twingly Light, but we don't have this. What we can do is we can use some existing uh, MIDI sequencer. LMMS is the one I'm using. You can use any one. The only thing we need is we need a program can send MIDI output to a MIDI device. Then we need to replace the program with the MIDI to Twingly. Then we can receive MIDI events and convert it to Twingly command and send to Twingly lights here. The only problem is this program is sending to MIDI device and this one is expecting from MIDI device. Uh, in theory, you can use the keyboard and send the MIDI events to this program and it will convert to movie command. But that's not what we want because we already have the LEDJ, which is using the PC keyboard. Now we want to use the LMMS to create a sequence, then send the MIDI event to MIDI to Twingly. What we need to do is, we need a program in the middle, and this one will create a virtual MIDI device, then the LMMS will send the MIDI output to this loop program and the loop program will send it to the MIDI to Twingly. At the end, it will come out as a movie command here. Today I'm going to show you how to use LMMS MIDI editor to create a sequence in order to control the Twingly light. LMMS is only an example, you can use your favorite MIDI editor. And this is also a program I've chosen. You can choose any MIDI loop if you know another one. So let's get started. OK, here's my laptop. I've installed the loop MIDI and LMMS. And here I will put a link in the description where to download the MIDI to Twingly. I have already downloaded and extracted to here. And here is my file. Before you start the MIDI to Twingly, you have to start the loop here first. So the first time I started, there is nothing. So I have to add a virtual MIDI device, by default is loop MIDI port, just click on plus, then you will see here. So just leave it there. Before we run the MIDI to Twingly program here, I want to show you the mapping file first. It's under the data. I use the mapping file to assign the piano key to a certain function in the Twingly light. For example, A0 is a device curtain and B0 is for my strings. You have to change this according to your device name. If you have more device, you can add more lines here. And you can see here there's a C1 for movie. Basically, I'm taking the C1 key uh, for effects. Then it will start from C1 and C sharp 
one and so on up to C3. I stop here, so I'm going to use C3 for mode of mode color mode. Those functions are assigned to this piano key. I'm going to explain this in LMMS. Okay, now we are ready to start MIDI to Twingly. So close this and go back to here. That's the executable file. So this one assumes that you are taking the default loop MIDI name. In case you have another loop device, you can go to here, the run.batch file, and use the command line here. Change this to your virtual MIDI device. Okay, but in our case, we just took the default name of loop MIDI. Let's run this. The first time you run it, it will ask you to allow prior network here. So just allow access. Okay, as you can see, there are some message coming here. Uh, you can see here, this is uh, my string device and this is a curtain B0, A0. And these are detected device, so they are connected. And here it's just showing the mapped keys. And here you can see the curtain is mapped to A0. And here there are 24 movie keys, C1 to B2. And here you can see I've got 12 slots for devices. So this is the string. 400 is in number 1, so I can press F1 to see the assigned keys. So F1 will show string 400 here, and these are the effects already uploaded to my Twingly device. Okay, now let's start LMMS. I'm not an expert in LMMS, so what I'm going to show you are basic stuff. You can find a lot of tutorial on internet. Now you can see here this is a song editor here. What we need is a MIDI track. Go to here, instrument plugin, and I like to get the gig player because this one requires a file. And if I don't provide a file, it doesn't play any sound. We don't want to hear any notes while it's playing Twingly commands. Now we got a track here. Very important, go to here and select the MIDI output. We already got a loop MIDI port here. Now select this as the output. Okay, now let's click on the box here, double click, and you will see a window, piano row. The piano keys are on the left hand side. So we should be able to control the Twingly lights using these keys. But at the moment you can see it's not happening. Let's go back to the windows here. We got the device B0 and A0. They are not active currently and C1 to B2 are the effect keys. So let's go to A0 and B0. A0 here, B0 here. So we use a short click to activate the device. Now both devices are active. If I click on the effect key here, it should play effects. Now you can see both are playing. Now if I use a long click to Deactivate a device, let's say deactivate this one. Now I click another effect. So the effect you can see is only go to the curtain device. So this is a, a way to see the effect, how do they look like. If I want to see an effect, I just click on the key here. And you can see they are changing. But now we want to do a sequence. You can also see here is a sample track. 
So th this is the track we can put the song. So let's click on the first box here. Unfortunately, MP3 is not supported. If you got MP3 file, you have to convert to one of the following format. So I've got the flag format here. So let's put it here. Now you can see my file is here. But now I just mute the channel. Otherwise, it's annoying. The other thing is you have to make sure the uh, BPM is correct. My, in my case, it's 125. And now I'm going to the MIDI track here. I want to turn off the light at the very beginning. So let's have a look here. Mode off is C3. So I have to go to C3 here and add something. Let me change this to 1 first. I don't want the last note. So C3. I can make it shorter here. But if I play it, nothing will happen. Because I have to make the device active by using the note B0 and A0. B0 is here, A0 is here. So then they are active. The problem is if I activate uh, the device and send the command at the same time because uh, there's nothing can be done at the same time. So it's not guaranteed that the command is sent after the device is active. So I move a little bit to the right hand side. So make sure the device is active and then send the command. Now let's have a look at the light. They are all on single color and let's play it. OK, you can see they are off. Now let's say I want to turn on one device and leave the other one off. So I let this go up to here. So then I want to turn this on. Mode color is D3. So let's go to D3 here. I turn one back on here. Now both are off. Let me start it again. Off and then here should turn back on. Okay, the first time didn't work. I don't know why. Now it's working. Let's say I'm going to do this one here and put another one here. And I'm going to turn the other one on as well here. So let me, I have to activate the light a little bit earlier before. It turn on. Now we should on one light and oh hang on this one is wrong so I need to put it in B0 and then the on the curtain here. Okay now let me get out of this window. Now you can see those uh, control sequences are added to here. Now let I want to play the music. So we just saw we can control the light separately and we can activate them at the same time and send a command to two lights or send a command to one light here. Sometimes we want to send two different commands to two lights at the same time. In this window we can't do that. What we can do is we add one more track. So this one and this one. What I can do is I am going to call this curtain. So now we have added two tracks here, curtain and string. The same thing again, we have to assign the output device, loop MIDI and loop MIDI here. So now we got three tracks. They are all sending commands to the Twingly device. 
the problem is the program doesn't know where the command come from we have to do some trick here if I double click on it then it will show me the windows here now this one is curtain go to this one you can see here is channel 1 I have to change it to channel 2 so any channel which is not taken and string I'm going to go to here and channel 2 is already taken use channel 3 ok now the different channel number are assigned to each track now let's say I want to play effects at this spot so if I go to here this one is the curtain curtain is A0 0 is here ok this is A0 and now I want to play effect here so now let me go out of the piano row here you can see there is a box here and I want to do the same thing for my string click on B0 maybe I can play this ok now go out of the box so play it from the start here now they are off now they, they are using this here now it's going to they should the two effects started at the same time on two different devices I hope you got a general idea of the editing as I show you here you can only send one effect at one time in one track you can't send different effects at the same time so if we want to do that we have to uh, put additional channels make sure the channel numbers are different otherwise it won't work and you can see I put this as curtain and it, this one only control one device this one control one device and we can send two different effects at the same time I also recommend you to use a small blocks I think the preview doesn't work if you start the playhead somewhere in the middle and also small block you can copy and paste let's say if I copy this one and put it here I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.